Hello, my name is Ismo, and to my immigrant jam, I would put uh, I would put bacon. My goodness, oh my God, we are back with another amazing episode of Immigrant Jam, the podcast. I'm your host, Lucy Pohl. Today is an exciting day. Thank you for listening. Thank you for being here. I'm so excited. My guest today is one of the funniest people to ever have walked the planet and be walking this planet currently. He is a comedian, a musician, a YouTuber, an author. And he's Finnish. What? Welcome, 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 Ismo. Like, hold up, do you use your last name at all anymore? Uh, in Finland, I do, but in here, I'm the only Ismo. In Finland, there's other Ismo. So you know, my friend in high school, his graffiti tag was Ismo. Growing really? up, yeah. really? Why? I don't know. I don't know. I actually, I don't know. That's a good question. <laughs> yeah, I want to oh know why. God, if you find out, <laughs> let me but know. But I think he spelled it with a Z, Ismo. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So you're I, still I, when the When I was only a kid, Ismo. I sometimes spelled it with a Z just to be cool. Uh, the Zs are cool. Yeah. Zs for are some cooler reason. than Ss. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Isn't that weird? Yeah. Because they're rarer. Yeah. Maybe. But Zs make you kind of sleepy. <laughs> That's true. Speaking of rarities, you're Finnish, and there's not that many of you. Yeah, there's five and a half million Finnish people, I think, officially. In the, and then there's like a few outside of Finland. <laughs> like every city Being I warm. go to, every city I go to in America, there's at least one Finnish person in the crowd. <laughs> oh, in the crowd. Yeah. Wow. Well, I guess that does make sense. They would come out. Yeah. Um, of their sauna party. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, you know how to say sauna. That's uh, yes, good. I'm German, you know. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Ismo, where are you from in Finland? Uh, it's a city called Juvaskula. Or as in here, you would say javascular. <laughs> javascular? That sounds like a heart thing. Yeah, vascular. <laughs> yeah, javascular. It has lots of these A with dots things uh-huh. in the name. And uh, so, yeah, that's my birth city. So I always struggle if I have to sign, like, do I put, I just don't put the dots. Uh-huh. Okay. Umlaut. The umlaut, is that umlaut, yeah. umlaut. We don't say umlaut. What do the, you call them? Dots. Dots. <laughs> Or dots, <laughs> dots. Yeah, dots. <laughs> well, if it's, it's dirt, if it's O with dots, then it's dirt. Ah, so it is because ö, right. ö and a, like yeah. that's a is a and a is a with dots. Yeah, it's that's the same in German. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah we, and in, you have the u with dots also. We have u with dots. But in we have Finland, we have that sound u. But we spell it with a Y. So in Finland and Germany, we're just kinder to people with speech impediments. We work it into the language. Like yeah. if you can't pronounce an A right, <laughs> it's yeah. it's now part of the language. Yeah, yeah. That, <laughs> like uh, I think that like how is the R pronounced in German? Like um, not you don't roll it. Like in Finnish, you roll it. So, in German, it like, it's in the back of the throat. Yeah, because like, uh, that's a speech impediment in Finland. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Um, the Bavarians. Roll their R's in mm. Germany. Bavarians and Austrians also roll their R's. Okay, because I've been wondering because I hear sometimes when I hear somebody speak German, they roll it and sometimes they do the <laughs> the <laughs> the <laughs> the <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the throat, throat. clearing sound. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. In Finland, if you can't do the roll, then you do the <laughs> ah. So it's kind of like it's it's so it's a speech impediment. And then people go oh <laughs> yeah. And pat, pat you on the head. Pet yeah. you on the head. So uh, for those people listening that have no idea what happens in Finland and think it's a big block of ice where everybody has a huge mustache, what's it like? What's Finland like? Yeah, I haven't seen many mustaches. There, so, <laughs> Why yeah. do I think everybody has a mustache in Finland? I don't know. I just think of walruses. Maybe. We, we, we never had a walrus, but there was one now who was like lost from the North Pole and came to Finland just like a couple of months ago and the whole Finland was like there was like live walrus cam and everybody was posting pictures it was really? like a big news the first ever wall it was huge like it weighed a ton and it destroyed some guys uh, carpet like what do you when you do the the carpets I'd like this Oh, wait, it went into someone's house? It went into somebody's yard. <laughs> no, that's amazing. <laughs> and then, there's this carpet cleaning thing everybody has on their yard, basically, uh-huh. where you put the carpets and you bang them. Oh. I don't know what's that called. Wow, But the carpet like, banger. It, yeah, so the walrus destroyed that, and there was pictures. <laughs> Look what the walrus did to my <laughs> carpet thing. <laughs> so that the whole country was really 
all about walruses. So it's funny that you mentioned walrus because that, that just happened so this weird. summer. I yeah. didn't know about that. And that's the height of the crime in Finland, I'm guessing. A walrus <laughs> destroying a carpet yeah. banger. Yeah. Yeah. There's, yeah. The, in Finland, there can be like the most red news can be like, oh, this guy got six and a half euros too much tax returns. Or something. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's, and they, it's, <laughs> <laughs> but you actually have a law, speaking of this walrus roaming around, that anybody's allowed to roam around anywhere in nature. As long yes. as they don't cause any damage, they're fine. Yeah. Like if even if like you own the forest, yeah. like anybody can go there and pick berries and mushrooms and camp there. Mushrooms? Mm, yeah. Do you have magic mushrooms in Finland? I think there is some growing in cow shite i think <laughs> i don't know i've never picked one uh, I, I picked some when i was a kid i went mushroom picking with my parents so i think i picked a couple of mushrooms like edible mushrooms oh wow. and uh, but yeah that's yeah berry picking is very popular and and yeah so you have the like the every man's rights there so anybody can forest is like you can't go to people's yards but forest is you can Enjoy what forest. I think making fire that you shouldn't do that in somebody else's forest. But you shouldn't do that in shouldn't. somebody else's or any forest. Well, probably. like unless it's like a designated spot or something. But yeah. of course people do campfire, so I don't know. I don't unless know how you're that a works. walrus. Then you can do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah. Okay. The walrus didn't make it though. He <laughs> I think he died. He died? They <laughs> yeah, killed they, him? They, no, they tried to save him but he died. Oh. I think so. He died from a broken heart. Yeah, he was so, so far from his kind. <laughs> yeah, he, he didn't see the walrus wasn't fit for the immigrant experience. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was, yeah, he's the first walrus immigrant in Finland, I think. Yeah, exactly. Um, and is it a small town you're from? Is it like a village? Is it a no, city? It's, it's a city. It's like, it was like maybe 80,000. I think now it's 100,000. Mm-hmm. It's like there's traffic lights. It's, it's a city. <laughs> It's, yeah, this university, and I studied there, and like it's yeah, and I'm from there also. So. And you studied physics and chemistry too. Yeah, and math and like astrophysics. Like I studied like science stuff for uh-huh. like four years, but then I started comedy, and then that just happened. And then you were liberated. Yeah, I was so happy. <laughs> I found comedy, and comedy found me. So yeah, it was love at first sight. I love so. it. You've been in LA since 2016, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, December 15, I moved there. And uh, I went back with COVID for a while. Like, during the pandemic, there was nothing to do in America, really. So I was back in Finland for a few months. But um, And every year I go for, like, a couple of months. Yeah. Now I'm on my way there, actually. Just today, after we finish this, I'll go to the airport and fly. Yeah, it, Ismo <laughs> showed up with two giant suitcases. Mm-hmm. And um, I'd gotten him some coffee because I learned today that, not because of that, but I learned today that Finnish people are the people that drink the most coffee, which blew my mind because there's no Finnish coffee shops anywhere. Well, you don't need coffee shops because like in Finland, you get coffee everywhere. (laughs) (laughs) I know, but you would think that if Finnish people drink so much, like there's Australian coffee shops. Yeah. You know, and then there's Swedish ones. I think Finnish people just don't export things. They don't export things? (laughs) Like we we don't sauna the word. That's we exported the word by accident. (laughs) That's a Finnish word. Uh, And uh, but... um, and Molotov cocktails, I read, are yeah, from Finland. Yes, that's the, the yeah the word. I don't know who invented to do like a bottle full of petrol, but <laughs> but uh, but uh, Finnish people invented the word, and that word stuck because Finland was fighting Russia, and then Molotov was the Russian minister of war or somebody. Right. And so then that was that. That was a Finnish term. That's very witty, don't you think? That's a yeah. witty term to make up. Yeah, because they, they were that. talking about Molotov's bread baskets. <laughs> because they were sending supposedly bread, but they were like bombs, uh-huh. really. And then they'd like, okay, here's a cocktail to go with the bread. That's oh, like, so it's like a whole a, line. There's like I a history, it. but yeah, Molotov cocktail really stuck. And I, I love to like have people guess, do you know what weapon in every war game is a Finnish invention? Yes, <laughs> because you, I, I never knew that. You never would think of Finnish people as being that, um, that uh, war... Uh, war entrenched? That's not a word. I don't know what I'm talking about. No, but you don't think of Finnish people when you think of war because people don't really know about Finland's history. Well, like if if people who are really into like history of war in America, yes. they they will do, they would know the Winter War. Like the Winter mm-hmm. War was like Finland's moment of glory, and 
people in America, surprisingly, many people have heard about the Winter War. The Winter War. Yeah. Mm. But they they don't think it's Game of Thrones. Mm, that might have <laughs> now confused people <laughs> after the Winter became a catchphrase in that show. Yeah. <laughs> but I love that the Molotov thing is like a whole line. There's bread baskets. There's yeah. cocktails. There's mm, like Molotov. Yeah. Well, uh, that was. I think the cocktail was pajamas. the thing. We did, like it just came from the bread basket. I think right. that's the. But then that stuck. The bread basket was forgotten, but the <laughs> cocktail stuck. <laughs> uh, but what's it like living in LA for you? Um, do you do you miss the? You know, everybody talks about people in LA are flaky and Americans. You know, Europeans always talk about how Americans are fake and superficial and all that. But do you like it? I, I do like it, and I don't I don't I wouldn't say that people are like fake or super superficial superstitious maybe <laughs> <laughs> way more <laughs> but, uh, uh. but uh, yeah there's like in LA every block there's like a palm reader that's <laughs> true that's, <laughs> that's true probably, that really was like what like, what are uh. and nail salons and palm readers like so many like they should combine them. <laughs> That's such a good idea. Yeah, because it's like you could just read the palm and do the nails at the same time. That's a perfect idea. I love it. On one hand, you're getting your nails done, and the other hand, you find out when you're going to be famous. Because that's yeah. why there's so many palm readers. Yeah, I guess that's the people want to know when. Yeah. When is it going to happen for yeah. me? <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, I, I definitely, uh, I like, I like American people. Like it's. Um, yeah, I think having conversation and deep conversations, it's it's. It can be even easier in America. So I don't think it, people are superficial. Uh, but there's like way more small talk and like people are nicer, like just the small talk rituals are. Because mm. in Finland, we are just bad at small talk mostly. Like we just yeah. don't know what to say. And and I'm not like good. Like I rarely start conversations with strangers. Like I just don't start them. I, I, like, I like talking to people, but I never start them. Like I, I'm bad right. at it. Yeah. Like, cause there's like people who shake hands. Somebody always initiates. I'm always the one who doesn't initiate. <laughs> <laughs> like, and also with um, uh, with uh, getting um, getting laid, I don't initiate. So that, that, that's that's a problem in America. Because I'm single. I was married the whole time I was here, but now I'm single, like almost a year. So um, <laughs> in Finland, it's way more equal. Like women initiate, not as much as men, I guess, but still enough. For people yeah, who don't, yeah, I mean, just initiate. look at the prime minister. Yeah, uh, mm-hmm. uh. yeah, she's a party animal. So that's, <laughs> a that's sex also, fiend. So, yeah. So, you know. <laughs> but yeah, that's the that's the thing. Like in, in, I think in America it's more like traditional. Like men should always like uh, approach. And so then court you're a very women. modern man. In that sense. Yeah, like I'm really good at waiting. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and in Finland, it's, it, it works way better. But in, yeah, in America, that's the, the being single in Finland is so much better. Wait, so who initiates in Finland? You, The women initiate? Anybody. Anybody? Yeah. But you don't have small talk and nobody says anything when they yeah, first but meet get, each other. People get drunk and ah. they just fall into each other. <laughs> I don't know. All either. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And <laughs> I'm, I'm sure, I mean, I'm not trying to just be, you know, um, an idiot, but son. Saunas help. Yeah, well, like saunas, like we doing a mixed sauna. Yeah, that's more rare. Oh, is it? It's more rare. Oh, like, interesting. Because in Germany, you know, all the saunas are mixed, and you're not allowed to wear clothes. Yeah, like underwear or a bikini. Yeah, yeah. Like I was, I was in, I was in it. Austria, and I went to a sauna, and that was, yeah, that was mixed nude sauna. In Finland, Very we don't nice. really have those. Oh, you, like you it's separate. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's like of course, if there's like a party, like a student party or something it can be but that's more rare so it's if it's yeah. a public swimming pool or something it's 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 separated men and women are separate saunas mm. so, so um so do you use apps are you on apps like tinder and stuff like that yeah yeah that i tried app? that yeah. yeah bumble yeah. bumble should be your app that's where they wh- where that's women true, they yeah. have talking like yeah, i'm on i'm on that i i put that on but yeah. yeah it's just in, <laughs> yeah I, I don't know it's finland it's just it, that's yeah, that's a big difference. I've, and I've talked to many men who have been in both countries, and they say it's a huge difference. Mm. Like it's like American women in general want to go for sushi and movies and <laughs> three, for three dates and stuff. And in Finland, it's like yeah, come over, okay, I'll come <laughs> over. <okay." laughs> Do you think relationships are different here, like in general, like mm. people's relationships, even just friendships? Well. I don't know if friendships are different. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I don't know about that. I don't. I don't know. But like, 
like marriages and that there is definitely in America there because the society is more how would you say hard like people are kind of they get homeless or, like mm. in Finland nobody is afraid of becoming homeless in America the right. number of like 70% percent of people are afraid that they might end up on the street like yeah in Finland it's like zero percent here in New York it's a hundred percent yeah of people. <laughs> yeah so it's like because it's the society is more like so finances are more important because mm-hmm. the society doesn't take care of you so I think in America that's why like finances are a bigger part of the relationship than in Finland. Mm. So people are really also looking for financial security. Interesting. In Finland not really. Like it's 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 a, it's a side it's it's not that like sure a little bit maybe but not that much. It's, so it's more yeah. true love in Finland well, you think maybe? I, well, there's <laughs> there's really shitty relationships everywhere, I'm, <laughs> I'm sure. So <laughs> but yeah, but it kind of like I, I was trying to do a joke about I was thinking I want to do something like like marrying money in Finland it's like it's only sad. <laughs> but in America it's a bit sad but it's kind of understandable. <laughs> but in Finland it's just only sad. <laughs> like you don't need to do that. Like you don't marry money. <laughs> I love that. And also children and all of that, right? You get like um I think a year of paid leave in Finland when you have kids. Yeah. Yeah, the, yeah gets... having ki- kids in Finland like on paper at least would be awesome. I don't have kids, but uh I think it like would be like really like the government gives you like 250 bucks a month just for having a kid. <laughs> right. Until and you the kid is like public transportation I read if you're with kids, you don't have to pay for I think yeah, and stuff. I think you can get on buses with the Like a, the the car- what's the carriage? Stroller. Uh, yeah. Carriage. Uh, carriage? No. Stroller. 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 Stroller yeah. Okay. Walker. Carriage. <laughs> 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 okay. I can feel them. carriage is the same word as car- like medieval carriage. Uh, uh, as stroller, uh, it's the stro- same thing. Okay, it's a stroller. Yeah, it's the same word. I uh, think. Um, Finnish is a crazy language, isn't it? It's not like any other language out there, right? Yeah. Yeah. Estonian is, I guess, a pretty, pretty close. And Hungarian, and I read. People claim that I was just actually just two days ago. I was in Syracuse, and there was a big uh, group from Hungary, and we mm-hmm. talked about it, and we we decided it's bullshit. Oh really? <laughs> like there's no same word. <laughs> it's and even that like the order of words is different. Uh-huh. So I don't know how it's officially related according <laughs> to linguistics, but there's nothing in common. That's like so the funny. word for water was a little bit common, but that's the only thing we found. And What's the word for water? In Finland, it's vesi. And Vesi. in Vesi, and in Hungarian it was like vis or it was kind of close, so right. something like or vis, or vis, something like that. But <laughs> I forgot it already. But um, but yeah, so it's not really. But Estonian is pretty close. But other than that, Finland is like like English is closer to Greek than Finnish is to Swedish. That's crazy. Yeah. But is it true that in Finland everybody learns Swedish in school? Like, so do you speak Swedish? Uh, Swedish? Well, like we kind of have to a little bit learn it but it depends the city where you live in like okay. if you live in uh even in Helsinki you might have like friends that speak Swedish but I was in Uvascula nobody even the teacher didn't really speak Swedish so <laughs> I didn't really use it at all when uh-huh. I was young so then like I didn't really learn it like I learned it I, I passed the exams and I was good at that like in high school but I I didn't really learn it But Finnish is similar to German in the sense that you put words together to make up new words that are very specific and mean one very specific thing. Yeah. Right? Is that true? Yeah. Yeah. We combine words and we like, like we, yeah, we do lots of like combina- compound. compound compound words. Yeah. So yeah. we do that. Like we don't use left sp- spaces. Like right. in English, it's <laughs> yeah. always spaces. Right. Even if it's like a like a. Well, some like online used to be two words. Now right. it's just one word. But in yeah. Finland, we always stick words together, and then we bend them like we bend them like crazy. We can add stuff. Right to like, mean something very specific. Yeah, right? like like what would be like also also on our tables. That would just be one. Could word. be one word. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, like also you can add an hour. And I always think that one of the reasons why Germans don't do well with comedy is because of that, because the language is so specific that there's not a lot of double meanings and there's not a lot of like, sar- like you don't really, like you say what you mean. Do you feel yeah. that way about Finnish? Like, do you know what I, do you know what I'm trying to say? Like, it's mm. such a specific. Like, you could say like rubber chicken lying awkwardly on the table, and that would be one specific word that you could make up oh, in German, really? <laughs> and it's so specific that like 
the mentality of the people is also like that. Like it's oh, so yeah. like straight. Well, that is even more specific. We wouldn't add like awkward to an like an adjective. One. Yeah, I think we couldn't. Yeah. You couldn't do that? Maybe. Komisch liegendes Hähnchen, Tischhähnchen. Komisch liegendes Tischhähnchen. So, and that's like one word. Weird, lying, table, chicken. That can be, it would be grammatically correct to make it one word. Be okay, totally in, I think in Finland we wouldn't do that. So, yeah, I think German <laughs> is even more specific. Because I think Finnish language is great for humor. Like, oh, it, it is? It, it works so well, and it's like... Like for me, writing jokes in Finnish is is still easier than English. What makes it great for humor? Well, I think there's like lots of double meanings, and mm. it's just lots of really silly sounding words, and like the, just the language. But then also like, I don't know. There's just so lots of things that sound so funny in Finnish, and the, like movie names, for example. Okay, yeah, I love this. Like I movie, love movie names. Yeah, like yeah. It, th- now we mostly stopped translating the movie right. names because they always sound so shit. Yeah. It's just, they sound Do you like, have an example? Can you think of one? It's just... <sighs> like in German, they're always, they tell you what's happening in the movie. Like Home Alone is called Kevin is at Home Alone. It's <laughs> 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 just like, oh, okay. Shit. You know what I mean? Like that's uh, how they translate movies. They like basically uh, tell you the whole plot in, okay, in that's, the title. That's silly. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> like, because that's the thing. Like in English, everything goes. You have the the, right. and you have the like that. Because in Finland, we don't have the. We don't have article like a definite article or anything like that. Right. Uh, so, and we always have to bend it. Mm-hmm. So the bend just doesn't look good. In a, like <laughs> it's in the movie title. It like it's really in, in English. It can be like the gray or <laughs> the thing <laughs> of the thing or the like it, like it sounds good like yeah. masters of the universe right, it right, sounds right. it's with the with always like the basic form of the word and the the and of the right that sounds good but in finnish it would be like bent something like <laughs> awkward chicken <laughs> like it's just the it it's it just doesn't look good, and it never sounds like really like you know like sexy. powerful or right, sexy right, right. or like yeah, yeah, yeah. flamboyant. What's yes, the word? Like yeah, something flamboyant. like yeah. seeming like big, right. like bigger than life. Yeah, no, America, I think, or American English in particular is so good at this like unfounded enthusiasm, this like flamboyance that like has no f- foundation. It's just there without and without having earned it at all. Do you know what I mean? It's just like we're the. This is the greatest thing ever. This yeah. title is the greatest title. The Big Lebowski. What an amazing title. Yeah. Right. In German, it would sound horrible. Der yeah. Große Lebowski. You'd yeah. be like, he's tall. That would mean he's yeah. tall. Yeah. Or it could mean fat also. Like. <laughs> I guess so. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, yeah in Finnish, you'd have to specify yeah. like yeah, what you mean by the. Yeah, big. it wouldn't sound. So what's the Terminator in in German? Is that like a guy comes from the future naked? <laughs> <laughs> it's we wish this guy was Aus- was German and not Austrian so we could claim him. No, it, that's actually called Terminator. Oh, okay. They do that too. When like oh, when okay. they're just out of yeah. ideas, they just <laughs> pronounce it in German. But that's really funny. Try to figure out what would be like Star Wars. That would be like yeah. uh, that's so complicated to plot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do Finnish people like in general, I know you can't generalize, but do Finnish people have a good sense of humor? Are they funny people? I think yeah, and it's like lots of like dark, sarcastic, uh-huh. like kind of deadpan, dark, sarcastic humor. Yeah. Lot and and some of those like old Finnish movies are so funny and old sketch shows. They're just so. I was really into like all everything. I, of course, like when I was a kid, I was obsessed about comedy. I didn't know stand up even existed, mm-hmm. but because we didn't really have it in Finland. But I was obsessed about sketches and funny movies and silly music and. There was so much funny stuff in Finland, like some of those old movies and old uh, sketch shows. People still kind of circulate some of the old sketches on WhatsApp and and YouTube. It's just, yeah, it's Finnish humor. I think it's really funny, but it's sometimes it's so hard to translate. So it doesn't really. So my mission has to be kind of export Finnish, but like. I don't see I'm exporting Finnish humor that much. I'm just doing my own stuff. And you're Finnish. Yeah. And so it's not like I'm Finnish. not taking the whole tradition <laughs> of Finnish humor and bringing it. It's just I'm just doing my own stuff. But it's still like uh, I really enjoy the old Finnish humor. And I 
I sometimes try to figure out if something would translate. Like uh-huh. it would just be nice to show other people, like why this is funny or some of the things. Have that. you tried that? Have you tried actually doing like uh, why this is fun? I mean, I would I would totally watch that, like a video of you explaining to us why this Finnish old Finnish sketch is funny. Yeah, that's a good idea. I I, I sometimes just, just to friends I've been showing like this and like, do you find this funny? That try to translate what happens there. Yeah. And, Like, but yeah, that could be good to translate like some old Finnish sketches. Or, yeah, I love that. Idea. And then there's like these famous sports interview moments, like, like sports interviews are so funny. Like the Finnish yes. sports people who are like, like one famous is the rally driver, who, who says that oh the stone, stone came through the floor and right up the ass of Timo. <laughs> Timo was the co-driver, so it was up the ass, and he shows like the, uh, went up the ass of Timo, and people have T-shirts that say up the ass of Timo. It's, really? it's, it's a catchphrase. It, I so love you can that. just yeah, I'll, I'll show you. I, it's, <laughs> it's so silly, it, but some of these uh, these legendary common comments, like in interviews by athletes, that's that's those those also are legendary, and um, and then yeah, there's just lots of yeah, Finland. I think Finland is pretty funny. There's lots of funny things. A lot of your comedy is about language. Yeah. And about like you like dissect, you like go in and then you like dissect words yeah. and and um and how language is used, especially in English you had uh your your appearance on Conan went like super viral, right? About the word ass yeah. and how many different ways People use it and <laughs> and how it can mean different things, right? Yeah. Um, and it's so funny, but there's there's so much other stuff that you do about language that I love. I, I watched one clip today of you talking about sir, the word sir, that it's this high, it's a high honor in England, and then here it's it's something that where is used when you, you make like a small mistake, which yeah. I love too. Yeah, it's like sir, um, sir. But, yeah. But do you feel like I'm guessing that you're? Do you also in Finnish do this type of comedy where you're like dissecting language, or is that something that in English because you're an immigrant and because English is not your first language and you have this like, you have to have like a zoomed out view. You're always kind of standing on the outside looking in right into the language and the customs and stuff like that. Is that why? Do you think that's why your comedy is? Um, do, You do so much comedy around language in English, or or are you fascinated by language? Do you just? I, I I've always been even when, like the first years I just did comedy in Finnish, mm-hmm. and there was lots of language stuff, and I still do lots of language stuff. Finland is the language is great, and there's endless stuff I find from it that's funny. And yeah. in Finland, of course, I can compare Finnish and English because people speak both. Right. But in here, I can't really compare <laughs> English <laughs> no, to yeah. anything. Of like course. I can, of course, sometimes say that we don't have a word for this, or we would say something like differently. But, uh, but yeah, it's. Uh, I've always loved language stuff, and yeah, and in Finland, I, I I still have like way. It's easier for me to write jokes in in and stuff in Finnish, um, so I have way more stuff there. But um, I. Um, I I I I don't only do language stuff. I do lots no, of other course. stuff. And now, yeah. of course, because now I've been single for the first time in like almost 15 years. Now I've wow. been doing lots of stuff about being single and trying to like. So it's kind of like where my life is at. And of course, moving to America was a big thing. And then I I still do lots of stuff about that. And so, but there's like I never want to like. What's the word? Pigeonhole. Pigeonhole. So, yeah, yeah. So I don't want to just word. be. Yeah, I don't want to <laughs> just be the language pigeon. No, but of I, course. Of course, not. I love language. That is like. Yeah. Almost every joke has an aspect of language in it, but there's lots of other things also. No, and I think what you really, more than language, it's like this, the, that's how I see your comedy. And of course, I haven't seen everything you've ever done, but you, I, what I love about your comedy is this aspect of dissecting things and like, you know, going from all these different angles. Yeah. And, um, and whenever I watch any of your jokes, I can rely on the fact that you, it's, There's gonna be digging, you know, into whatever the joke is. Yeah. It's, you're gonna go further. Even. Yeah. So, and I, I heard you say on another podcast that you studied physics and chemistry and all of that because you were always interested in like, what's life? Well, how does it work? What is what is it all about? And then yeah. you studied physics and you were like, fuck, this is just math. We're not <laughs> figuring out what life is at all. Yeah. But I think that's you know that's kind of what comedians are, right? They they kind of have yeah. to 
dissect. Um, yeah, yeah, like figuring out life and world and what it, what this is meaning yeah. or I I think the meaning of life is the wrong question but anyway like <laughs> yeah. philosophy and that like I'm really I've always been into that and I can't understand that some people are not interested in what life is yeah like it's hard for me to get that but like I that's been well I'm always obsessed. envious of people like that because it feels like it must be nice yeah I just I think they're just kind of pushing it away and yeah I don't know but it's I I, I can't stop thinking about the big questions all the, all the time and but that's also good for comedy because like if you see a really small thing and then you think about that in the perspective of like the whole life thing that it's yeah you can zoom in and zoom out with comedy. right Do, are Finnish people like philosophical people because Germans definitely are Germans Ooh. love discuss discussing things and oh, arguing yeah. and you know and the the language also lends itself to philosophy. Yeah, oh yeah, like even the famous Monty Python sketch, yeah. the, the philosopher's yeah, soccer, the soccer game. Soccer game. It's <laughs> yeah. the best. It's Greek it's versus best. German because yep. that's the most and then, philosophers. Um, yeah. And then I think who has the idea to shoot the goal? I think uh one of the greek philosophers was has it the uh, heureka guy archimedes or yeah archimedes was Medi- what was it i don't remember or sophocles has the idea i think and shoots the goal and then um and, but anyway schopenhauer and kant are kind of like walking around and just talking and then one of the greek philosophers finally has the idea and shoots the goal yeah And Karl Marx is uh, warming up on the sidelines. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Nietzsche, Nietzsche says that the referee doesn't exist. Or, yes, or exactly. Or, Nietzsche uh, says the referee doesn't yeah, exist. Or something like I. Yeah, it's been a while since I watched that. But yeah, <laughs> but yeah that's good, man. Yeah, uh, I. I don't know if Finland likes philosophy as much as Germany in general. I didn't know that. I, of course, now when you said that, like, there's so there's a huge tradition of philosophy in Germany. I never really thought about that. I think the language has a lot to do with that, though, because yeah. I don't know if Finnish is like this as well. But German sentences can go on for like three. Uh, one sentence can go on for like three pages, and it's co- grammatically correct because you in German you can put a lot of different thoughts into one sentence without it being incorrect to do yeah. that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So you're yeah. expressing a lot of different thoughts to express one thought. So the sentence is one thought, but you have to have all these different thoughts in there to express that thought and therefore. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've heard that Germany is re- the German language is really like big with that. I think in Finland you can do like an endlessly long sentence, I guess. <laughs> Put commas and sorry, I don't, <laughs> I don't know because I'm, I'm writing a book at the moment and I, I sometimes think of that like should this be like ten different sentences or just one like I don't know. <laughs> you wrote a book with your ex-wife, yeah. right, about being an immigrant or living yeah. in the U.S. Yeah, as Finnish people. Yeah, that's kind of the framework, and then it's lots about life. And like lots about different things, but about yeah. analyzing Finland and America and everything and comedy and. What's the conclusion you came to analyzing Finland and America? <laughs> well, it's What's like the <laughs> thesis. <laughs> well, see, there's no. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if there's a summary. No, it's just, <laughs> yeah, the synopsis. Yeah, right. Know, or like conclusion, but it's yeah, like yeah. I don't know if there's like a, some one message in that book. Mm. It's just that like yeah. What do you think for you is the biggest difference? Um. Well. <laughs> At the moment, the dating thing is big, big difference. Mm-hmm. But uh, but then there's like, well, and of course, the society is like the whole thing is that because um, in America, people actually are afraid of like big things like lawsuits and healthcare and mm. homelessness and yeah. being shot in the school and what like actual mm-hmm. things. But in Finland, everything is kind of fine. So then people are afraid of like social inter- yeah. interactions right. <laughs> in an <laughs> elevator. <laughs> so so it's like we have energy. We have fear energy for small things because we don't have to fear the big things. Right. But now I think actually after the war in Ukraine thing started, Finland was at least for a while actually afraid that what's going to happen. But still, no, they're closing. I read now that they're closing the borders to Russians and stuff. And I, yeah, I read about that also like now because people are fleeing the, the, the conscription. Thing, you, were, you were in the army, right? Yeah, in Finland, like every man has to go 
for a while. So I yeah, I'm yeah, I was there. I don't I have no idea if I'm still there. <laughs> like, I don't know. I haven't heard from the army like in 15 years. <laughs> but what people I think imagine like uh you, you know, crawling on the ground and scaling walls and shooting guns. Is that what you did for a year? Well, kind of. Really? Yeah, and hiding That's crazy. Uh, hiding under the bed so you don't get have to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> the really? army is also like really learning how to be a slacker, like avoiding. <laughs> like because <laughs> there's always like, hey, somebody has to do this, you. But then if you're hiding, you don't get that. <laughs> I love that. I love that you, people hide under the bed and they're like, we have no idea where they are. Mm. <laughs> that was kind of like, but it, it's, it, I don't know what that's a word in Finnish, nakki. It's great. It's like a task that's kind of like a, like a task but it's not specifically for you, but it's just a task that somebody has to do and you get have to do it because you were there. It's called uh, naki. Naki. And naki. it's also a sausage or a wiener. So it's <laughs> <laughs> but it's a weird like naki means like some annoying extra job you have to do. That's so And then like if a chore. and then it's like shelter for naki. It's like when you're like you're like, oh, I can't do it because I'm working on this other thing or I'm hiding under the bed. <laughs> so, Is there also a word for that? Avoiding the naki? Yeah, that's like naki shelter. <laughs> naki shelter. Yeah. Oh, wow. Shelter, like the like English su- word? Yeah, well, yeah, suoja. That's the Finnish. I just translated. Oh, okay. So, yeah, suoja is sh- shelter. Naki suoja? Naki suoja. <laughs> <laughs> I love that so much. Uh, All the teenagers a... listening, you better get on your naki suoja. Yeah, um, that's, that's a really, skills. actually, yeah, I have to, that's a good word to translate in English. That's a great Because that doesn't word. really... Naki? Yeah, not like no. like a task, but like something that you're kind of it's like... It's a chore. A, I guess you would call it a chore, but, yeah, but it doesn't the, imply that someone has to do it and it's not a specific person. Yeah, and person. it's like... it's And and I think Naki, is all, it's like a chore, but it's kind of like somebody else tells you to do it. It's like chore, you have to, like, I have to go to the grocery store. Right, yeah. But like, it's like yeah. somebody else tells you to do it and <laughs> they could tell somebody else also. But That's you just so happen funny. to get it. And, and the fact that it means sausage too. It's a Your, certain kind of sausage. Yeah, it's like a wiener. It's like a small wiener. Oh, is it spelled with a K, Naki? Two Ks, yeah. Ah, so like, in German, knackwurst is yeah. one of those. Knack. I think that's the, yeah. Knack. And in Swedish, it's knack, knacken or knack. Knäckebröd. No. <laughs> but yeah, that's kn- knäcke. That's, knäcke but yeah, with an else. A, A, but then yeah. with A, ah, it's, knack. yeah, so knäcke. That's comes from Swedish and Germany, I'm sure. Ah, knäcke. there you go. Because it means, yeah, like a small, yeah, small, small wiener. wiener. Yeah. Small wiener. So, I mean, we could dive in, analyze where this might come from, that a small wiener is a chore you have to do. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's, um, <laughs> it's for the small <laughs> penis people. Yeah. I don't mm-hmm. know. But yeah. If, and we don't really say naki as a as a penis like we, we don't, don't say we wiener? don't use it we don't use it as uh like in wiener in english that can be referring to a penis right but, but in, in, in finnish naki never refers to a penis what do you use to refer to penises so many things like what <laughs> it can be it can be a screwdriver <laughs> what oh my god that's amazing and that's wow. actually funny because screwing is fucking in english that's very but, funny but, still, but yeah but that sounds like finnish men are um, better endowed than American men because wiener and screwdriver. Yeah, but and there's lots of like so and I'm also saying. like a mela. What's mela? That's like a paddle. <laughs> 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 that's even bigger. Yeah. Oh my god, uh, that and, is uh, so funny. And and uh, leka sledgehammer. <laughs> So we have, we, yeah, not knacky, not not knacky wiener. Finnish people are like, get out of here with your knacky wiener. We've yeah, got sledgehammer dicks. That's true. I have to do a joke to Finland about sledgehammer that. Sledgehammer like, dicks? Yeah. You have to. Yeah. That's the funniest thing ever. I would. Yeah. You, could, you can do a whole special called yeah. sledgehammer dick. Yeah, because like that refers to a really somebody hey, had like a you, really like. Listen, a you won't have to approach anybody on the dating side yeah. anymore. Everybody, women will flock to you. If yeah. you just make it known that yeah. sledgehammer, sledgehammer dick. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I have to do that. <laughs> maybe that's. Maybe I have to call my special sledgehammer. Is, is my sledgehammer. Uh, wait, how do you say sledgehammer in, in Lekka. Lekka? Lekka. Wow, lekka in German means yummy. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, that's the connection. sledgehammer. That is so Mm-mm. so funny. Um, 
Ismo, I always love like proverbs and sayings and stuff and yeah. expressions from different countries and languages because yeah. I think they always say a little bit about the mentality of the people that yeah. live there. And I looked some up from Finland that yeah. I thought were funny. Yeah. Um, so if you have one that you love, tell me. But I like this one. It's vete herne nenen. Yeah. To pull a pee up one's nose. Yeah. And that means that you are like offended. Basically. Like snort pee, a pee. Yeah, well, that's kind of the, but it, it's it's a metaphor. Of course. But it's like, yeah, like <laughs> just pull a pee up your nose. That means that you got offended. Uh-huh. Where do you think that comes from? Well, if you pull a pee up your nose, you're like. Oh, you go. And then you're but like. But it could be anything. Why a pee? Do you guys eat a lot of peas? Yeah. Is it a pee heavy country? I guess people, it's quite a lot. Pea soup is really, that's like a, that's like every Thursday pea soup. Like oh, in the really? army, it's still, I think, pea soup Thursday. And in school, it was maybe not every Thursday, but. Pea soup Thursday, that's like a thing. Pea soup Thursday? Yeah. Wow. So pea soup is kind of like a very basic Finnish, like, so yeah, if it's, yeah, huh. so it's 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 popular. It's still like in lunch restaurants, you can sometimes have pea soup and people are like happy about it. Because <laughs> it's, it's peas and, and like pork meat, basically. Oh, wow. Okay, peas and pork meat. Oh, and you have, is it true that you have an International Day of Failure, October 13th, coming up very soon? Is that I true? Know. I read that. I don't know. That's some bullshit fact about Finland. Uh, like, it, I don't know. Now I, I I should know that. If if it's true, I should know it. I don't know. <laughs> I, I have that. to look it up. Yeah. Uh, apparently, October 13th. If anybody listening knows, let us know. Put it in the comments, whatever comments yeah. there are. Yeah. I have to look for more Finnish holidays then. <laughs> like, Do yeah. people... Um, so, okay. To pull a pee up one's nose means you're offended. Um, what about Ola Nakit? Silmile. Oh yeah, that's that's uh, that's Naki also like so the wieners, <laughs> this is, but that's a different use for the word. It's it means Naki silmile. It's like you have wieners in your eyes <laughs> or in your eyes, or, yeah. and and uh, that means that you're really drunk. Uh. And it, I think it comes from like 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 you you your if your the backs under your eyes get uh. really swollen. Your eyes can look like they have wieners, wieners if you are like kind of like this. But remember, people, it doesn't mean penis. Yeah. It just no. means sausage. Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. Because in German, there's a saying, you have tomatoes on your eyes. But that's if you're like totally oblivious to something. Ah, okay. Yeah. Like, hello, do you have tomatoes on your eyes? Ah, okay. Yeah. And I looked it up and that actually comes from medieval times where people were punished if they did something wrong, like adult adultery, like cheating, they would get Uh, tomatoes tied <laughs> to their eyes, which I guess because they're acidic, it would burn their eyes, oh, yeah, and they'd have to walk around the town with tomatoes on their eyes. Oh, okay, that's which, so if you think about it, it's pretty cruel. Yeah, yeah, but if you think about it, uh, rappers back then in their music videos would just have tomatoes on their eyes <laughs> <laughs> because you know they're womanizers. As a sign of being a womanizer. Oh, okay. So, because so that was a punishment if you... For cheating. For cheating. Okay. Yeah. But now you use it for oblivious. Like Now you use like, it for like, hello. You, you haven't concentrated. Yeah, you, you have tomato. Uh, do you have tomatoes on your eyes? Oh, yeah. That's yeah. so weird. Yeah, that's a weird one. Huh. Yeah. Um, okay, then I like, I love this one. Kahustuksen kanaheki. The chicken cage of terror? Yeah. What the fuck is that? It's kauhistus. That's like... Terror or cow, like kauhu is horror and kauhistus. That's like being startled, like horrified or kauhistus. It's just I think it's just because they both begin with K A, so it's like oh, kind it's of an right. alliteration. Yeah, it's oh, like okay. kauhistus and kind of. But also because if you if there's a cage full of chickens that's and scary. you run towards it, peep, the chickens go crazy. <laughs> so it's kind <laughs> of a, so it's kind sense. of also that uh, you can imagine a cage full of chickens being terrified, and it, it's 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 a it's noisy. That's true. Yeah. That's true. So, that it's and it's a beautiful. That's a beautiful image. Yeah, uh, I mean, but I have that's the, I, I haven't heard that said in twenty years. Really, so that's an old good. school. Yeah, it's like an old. Okay. Thing, I think. Yeah. Okay, got it. Um, then El Helsinki Second Peak. I'm sorry What? that I said it like a, an insane grandma. Uh, um, it's this last one here. You see that? Something about even in Helsinki, you don't put... Yeah, I don't even know that. That's like, okay, that's like from a specific uh, city. 
in Finland. Oh, okay. That's a City that's that's Pori. a local thing. Yeah, that's like a local thing. But it I've mean, never it's supposed that. to mean like even in Helsinki, you don't put your housekeeper on a dresser or something. Yeah, that's what it says. But I've never heard that. Okay, does it make sense at all? Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if they're referring Helsinki. It's probably like something about like the Helsinki is the capital, so people are fancy or fancy and richer and fancier. Right, so I right. think it's like something, but yeah. I, I've never heard that. And then that one with the stone I thought was beautiful. Even the stones aren't interested. Are interested, yeah. I haven't heard that either. Oh, really? Yeah. Meaning like if someone's bored? Yeah. I thought that was nice. Like even stones, stones are, like, interested. are interested. Like it's like, yeah. that's a nice way to tell somebody to fucking... Stop yeah. talking. Well, yeah, that's yeah. I haven't heard that one, but it's and also like the. I think that's. I was just. I just wrote the idea that like I'm gonna do something about because in, like welcome, mm-hmm. in English is well, and in Finland we have also welcome, mm-hmm. but in Finland also we have like well go, <laughs> which means like. Get out of here! <laughs> I love that. That's so great. Yeah. And you would actually say that to someone? Well, you could like. I think that's kind of like you say. It's kind of like good riddance, or like you mm. say if somebody like, like if you finally got rid of somebody, mm-hmm. and you can, or it's kind of like, um, yeah, it's kind of a mean way, mean thing to say. So you wouldn't say it to someone's face necessarily. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, but you wouldn't. Yeah, you'd be you'd like, you'd be like, it's kind of like, don't let the door hit you on your way out. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Like, it's it's kind of like that. Yeah, because it's, <laughs> it's just the opposite of welcome, well yeah. go. I love it. Yeah. Do you have a saying that you like? That you oh, use? I have so many. I have so many say that things I like. If, if, um, <laughs> uh, there's so many. Um, like one of my favorite words is is bully ukko. Puliukka. Puliukko. And ukko. ukko is like a like a like an old man or some or kind of like a it's like an old term for like an old man. Mm. And puli, pu, 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 it's weird where it comes from, but it's that means like a it means like basically like a like a bum, like a mm-hmm. hobo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but it's kind of like sympathetic word. It's ah. kind of like it's more like it's <laughs> it's it's like it sounds kind of lovely, okay. but it's me. So it's like bum sounds like mean, but yeah. puliukko is more like it's kind of like it sounds good. It kind of rolls off the tongue, and it's kind of a nice <laughs> word for like a homeless alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> so, oh my god! See, we can learn so much from Finland. Um, Isma, we're getting to the end of uh, our time together, but before we go, I have to quickly do the poll questionnaire with you. Mm-hmm. It's just a few questions uh, to determine how much of an immigrant you really are. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But um, yeah, it's very quick questions. First thing that comes to mind, um, Ismo, are you ready for the poll questionnaire? I am. Is there some? It's like a vacuum cleaner. Okay, va- somebody's vacuuming. Also. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we got to keep this city clean. Okay, uh, people. Yeah. Uh, okay, Ismo, if you had to eat one American person, who would you eat? <laughs> <laughs> eat an American. Okay, uh, like. <laughs> Just you so just for flavor, or that you would like to want Wh- to slaughter. Whatever you want, it's <laughs> up to you. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Um, hmm. Uh, that's that's yeah. That's hard. Uh, that's hard because like question? I don't like I thought th- I like meat, but I've never <laughs> tasted human. All right. So it's hard to say, but like maybe somebody kind of athletic, hmm. lots of big muscles and stuff. Like a lean one, like a basketball player. Yeah. So yeah, I guess. But I also like fat, though. Like, <laughs> like I like ribs and stuff. So, <laughs> like pork belly and stuff. So I don't know what would be like a really good like pork belly person. It's hard, to, <laughs> hard to say. <laughs> and okay. I, I think I would go with somebody like pretty young, even though it's sadder. Okay. I have to eat somebody because like if they're like seventy years old, the meat must taste horrible. Horrible uh, or better? I don't know. It's like cured meat. Yeah, but it's. Animals are cured after they're dead. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. I, I, if I have to pick one, I, I don't. I don't even know. I don't know any athletes. I don't follow sports at all. Oh, really? I just don't follow sports. Really? That's okay. Okay. What's like a like a UFC? Um, Tom okay, Brady. So like a UFC fighter because they're gonna die anyway. But there's uh, no fat on those people. Oh, oh yeah, UFC. Oh, I was thinking MMA. Oh well, that's the same. Oh, it is the same. 
It's like is it? It's the same. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. But there's no fat on those people. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah, they're very skinny and bony. Yeah. Well, um, I would go with a football player because they no, have I muscle d- and yeah. fat. Yeah. You know. But I don't know any names either, yeah, I don't, except Tom Brady. Yeah, I, I don't know any yeah. other name. My Americanism stops there. Yeah, at well, football. Uh, uh, okay. I, I want to add somebody who's just been recruited to somebody <laughs> who doesn't play that well, so they a don't no miss. Name. Yeah. Okay. Somebody, I love yeah. it. Um, okay. If you were president of the United States of America, what American food would you ban? Food would ban. Um, well, uh, hmm. I like most of the food, but I think I would I would ban uh, maybe I would ban uh, high fructose corn syrup. Nice! Wow, <laughs> nice. That's a good answer. That's like an actual <laughs> helpful answer. Yeah. Wow, Ismo for president, baby. Because in, in Finland, even if you get a Coca Cola, yeah, it's sugar. It's not high fructose corn syrup. Like right. Finland has it's better. It's not cancer. Yeah. Immediately. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's and that makes people even fatter faster the high fructose corn that people may manage to invent something that's even more unhealthier than sugar <laughs> that's like an achievement that's evil <laughs> yeah 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 that's true okay um two more quick 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 questions uh if you had to deport one american person who would you deport oh i'm so bad at celebrities i don't even know anybody <laughs> no you can say your landlord uh, or your agent mm. or <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, or you could say um, the person who invented high fructose corn syrup. Yeah, mm. maybe somebody who's really good at like picking up women, because then there'd be more women left for me. <laughs> <laughs> every every who person who ever was on the Bachelor TV show. Yeah, yeah, all the winners maybe. All the winners the, of yeah. The Bachelor. I love that. That's a great answer. That's oh, hilarious. The, oh, but The Bachelor, the guy is not the winner. He's the guy. No, so, he's the winner. No, but one oh, of the that's ladies wins. The Bachelorette. That's true. The, you need to uh, deport the Bachelorette contestants. Yeah. Winners. Yeah, and also maybe the guys from Black Bachelor also. <laughs> why not? I love it. Okay, so, last question. Very important. Ismo, do you know how I can meet David Hasselhoff? Um, the first time ever I came to LA, I did this competition at the Laugh Factory. The first time I landed on the airport, we saw David Hasselhoff at the airport. Shut <laughs> the fuck up! <laughs> Holy shit! Okay, I'm going to travel. I'm only airport. traveling with you from now on. Okay, and I I'll haven't seen him ever companion. since. But that was the first time we landed in LAX. People are like, "Hey, that's David Hasselhoff." I love it. And so that's the so just go to LAX sometimes with you. Yeah. You have the David Hasselhoff. Well, mojo. I've been to LAX the 200 times after that, and I haven't seen him since. So. Well, maybe you weren't looking. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay um, we have to go. Ismo, you're amazing. Please. Please tell people really quickly where they can find you online. Uh, oh, yes, M-O, Ismo, uh, Ismo Comedy, Instagram. <laughs> you can find me on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, YouTube, and Tinder. <laughs> oh, shit, ladies. Find him on Tinder. <laughs> and um, follow him. Watch everything Ismo does. Go to his shows. Check out his website. He's touring. He's amazing. He's the best. Um, and please uh, like, subscribe, uh, r- rate, and review this podcast. We love you so much. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you to Douchebag Steve, our most beloved patron ever. And thank you to Gotham Podcast Studios. Thanks. I didn't even realize that we were filming. I must be picking my ass <laughs> and my nose. and like. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. See, this is the Hidden Camera Show. Bye. Thank you. Bye. If you liked what you just heard, don't forget to rate, review, subscribe, recommend to all your friends. And if you hated it, recommend it to your enemies. Thank you for listening to Immigrant Jam, the podcast with me, Lucy Pohl. Have a delicious and nutritious day.